Um, so in this video I'm going to be doing a top 10, no, top 5 male fictional characters and top 5 male, uh, male, female fictional characters. Um, so I'll start on the female first. Like, this is hard for me because I'm going to be doing, like, between shows and books and everything else. Um, I'm probably going to be doing it, like based on Harry Potter, The Hunger Games, Percy Jackson, and The Hundred, um, because they're the main ones I'm thinking about at the moment. Um, so yeah. Um, number five is Annabeth Chase from Percy Jackson, um, because she's really wise and she's a good character. Um, she, like, I think from what I've read of her so far, she stands up for herself. Uh, she doesn't like being pushed around. And she's like, her relationship with Percy so far, like, I'm only on like the fourth book. Um, it's quite humorous to like, just watch it play out. Um, so yeah, I really like that. Um, number four is... Um, yeah, God, is Cat, no, Joanna Mason from The Hunger Games, um, well, Cash and Fire, Mockingjay, um, I like Joanna because she's really, she seems like a strong person, but there's obviously more to her, um, and I think that how Suzanne left her background kind of blank, it's really interesting because you just want to know. He's a character that you just want to know everything about, but you basically know nothing except for her name, her district, she lost her family. And, like, you get the edge that she lost, lost them after the games and because of something she did, but it doesn't really necessarily... Necessar I can't say it. It doesn't tell you that. In, like, it doesn't state, Snow killed them. It just basically states, uh, I have no one left that I love. Which I actually think it's untrue, because I think, like, her and Finnick have, like, a family connection kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, I think she would have heard Finnick in the other days. But maybe not, because he was in the arena. I don't know. Um, third is... Um, Clark Griffin from The Hundred. I'm just working out the order to do these in. Um, Clark is quite strong. She's quite independent, and I like characters that are independent. Um, and she's a really good leader, although that can be quite debatable in season two. Um, bear in mind that I'm only on the episode with a big flipping gra uh, grave. It comes out and goes, Bleh! and Bellamy just went inside my mother. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm, I've still got all the drama to come, I know. Um, but she seems good at making choices, but bad at the same time. Like, for instance, the episode where she found out that Charlotte killed Murphy. Uh, not Murphy, Wells. Ugh. Um, so yeah, Clark is quite... I, w I was indifferent about her for a while. I, I wasn't sure whether or not to like her. But I think as time has... Ugh, ha I, I can't speak today. As time progressed, I like, found that she is quite a good character, I understand why she makes a lot of ta ugh, choices and stuff like that, so yeah. Um, yeah. Number two is Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. Um, so Hermione is my favourite character because I, like, I'm told quite a bit that I'm a lot like her, that I'm bookish and stuff like that, and... I don't know, I just have this connection kind of, it's weird, like, I feel like we're similar, and 
she's quite independent. I don't think she would have needed Ron and Harry. Uh, I think if she was tossed in Slytherin, then that would have made a better story. Um, <laughs> there's a fan fiction about that. Um, and she's just my favourite character out of all the Harry Potter-like characters. Um, <laughs> I ship her with Draco Malfoy. So, I just thought I'd let you know that. And, um, yeah. I just really like her. Um, so number one is Octavia Blake. She won me over with Blur That Bitches. Um, she is literally the best character I have ever come across. I love her background story. And, and oh my gosh, I love her so much. She's so amazing. Like, I think the only person I like more than Octavia is Bellamy. And oh my gosh, it's, oh, she's such a good character. I mean, she doesn't need anyone really. She just, if she could go out on her, on her own, she probably would. And like, oh my gosh. And did you see, oh my gosh, she's, oh, she's a grounder. Oh, I just, oh, I could spend hours just talking about why Octavia Blake is so amazing and badass. And oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> So yeah, um, I think that's the biggest difference for me in the book. She's not really as badass as, as far as I can tell. Alright, so yeah, top five male characters. Um, ooh. Number five, he was originally number like two, but number five is Peter Malark. Um, no, no, number five is Percy Jackson. Um, like, Percy's alright, he's sass, as far as I can tell, um, but I think he's so low because I don't feel like I know him as much, and like, he, it's, I don't know, it, it gets confusing as I get older, like, okay, that kind of weird thing. And I think the movies completely put me off, like, reading the books, because it's like, why even bother changing it that much? Um, I, I don't see the point in them changing the movie so much, because Percy was actually quite a good character, as was Annabeth and Grover and everyone else, and... Why even go there? It's, no. And, like, I don't know. I am going to read them all. But I have a lot of other things to read, too. So, anyway, uh, number four is Peter Malark. Um, He used to be, like, number one, number two. Um, right up there with Pinnacle there. Um, but as time has gone on, I have read fan fiction and I reread the books and I should finish now. So, um, no, it's all about the. I don't think the Hunger Games should be that revolved around love, like the media portrays it to be, and the fact that the media portrays it to be all about love is completely, it completely put me off Peter for a very long time, um, and Gail actually, well I never liked Gail, but still, and I just think it's so wrong because there's so many important reasons, like, to lead to the rebellion, or not just because Katniss and Peter fell in love, or fell in love, um, I do ship penis a little, but I should finish more. Um, so anyway, number three. Oh, oof, right. Um, yeah, number three is Jacob Malfoy, right? A lot of people say it's because of Tom Felton, because I like Tom Felton. No, I mean, I like Tom Felton, no, get me wrong. But I like Jacob Malfoy in the books. Um... He just has this, like, edge to him. He's, he's a typical bully, but he's not. And I think all along I knew he had, like, something hidden 
like a secret I and you just feel by the end of it all that you just want to give him a hug and tell him everything's gonna be all right and oh my god that's why he needs to marry me they are so perfect for each other because they're both in town I'm not even going into ships um so yeah he's quite intelligent and everything like that and I think there's more to him than a lot of people think <sighs> I no I can't I can't even I joint first because I can't kind of move um is Finnick O'Day and Bellamy Blake yeah, I, <laughs> this is a difficult decision for me to put them in order, so I'm not going to. Um, I like Finnick because he's he's just so humorous. I, every time he was in the book, I literally just burst out into this smile until he died. I don't talk about his disappearance. I mean, we all know Percy Jackson saved him anyway, because they're brothers, but, um, <laughs> that's my theory. Um, so, but it made me smile a lot, and he's just so, I can't even explain it, he's an amazing character, and I think how Suzanne, like, made that deeper, like, made it, like, his, he had a secret, and then he told everyone that secret to get revenge. It's oh my, oh my, it, it's just amazing. Um, and Bellamy Blake, uh, same reason not the Octavia really. She's just, uh, she's, he's just so badass. And I don't. First couple of episodes, I don't think I liked Bellamy that much. I was just like, hmm. I I thought he was alright, but I didn't like the episode, though. I think what really got to me is when he basically took Charlotte under his wing, and then she just got taken away from him, and I sobbed. Oh, my gosh. I think that's when I started liking Bellamy, and oh, my gosh, I love him so much. Again, his background story is so good, and I think his character development is amazing. Like, he's changed a lot from the books, and, like, I don't think there's a moment where I've gone, I don't like Bellamy that much, um, except for when Balok had an argument. Um, so, yes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just like a lot of characters. Uh, so, maybe I'll do a video, my top ten worst characters of all time. And I can tell you, Ron Weasley is going to be on that list. And so, yeah. Bye!